Welcome to the Scholars Learning Classes. In this video, we will be studying limitations of financial analysis. See, in the previous video, we studied about the significance, importance of financial analysis and what is financial analysis all about. In this video, we will be studying about the limitations of financial analysis. So first is your limitations of financial statement now your financial statements give you only the monetary items the impact of monetary items monetary transactions in the Firm, but it does not take into consideration the qualitative analysis right so sometimes the information given in the financial statements are incomplete and unauthenticated second comes affected by window dressing A window dressing means that you are actually not showing the exact and authenticated figures in your statement you are misguiding or misleading the uh, figure so that your financial position is good so that your uh, financial statement sounds good and they depict the uh, good financial position and performance of the company so what uh, these uh, accounting officers or chartered accountants do they window dress up these figures so that you they can show more profits as in original the company might not have earned good profit but in the accounting they show higher profits or they show lesser liabilities so this is the way it is affected by window dressing do not reflect changes in price level see figures given your financial statements do not show the effect of change in price levels the comparison of past year figures with current year figures may lead to misleading conclusions right because uh, if i talk about in 19 uh, in 2001 a firm sells 10000 meter of cloth at rupees 10 lakh so in the same year it is selling nine uh, in the other year they are selling 10000 meter of cloth at rupees 15 uh, lakh so it dis discloses an increase of 50% but if i talk about the actual sales the uh, raw material price might have increased so due to which you might have you know uh, sold the cloth at higher level so it do not reflect the change in the price levels then comes your different accounting policies see if two firms adopt different accounting policies the comparison becomes very difficult if one firm is adopting depreciation of straight line method the other firm is using wind uh, written down value method so it is very difficult to compare the uh, values of one another effect of personal ability and biasness of the analyst see figures given in the financial statement do not speak by themselves so conclusion is to be drawn by these figures and who draw these conclusions the professionals the people who are, have the ability and knowledge so they are basically the analysts so they might be biased or they may draw their personal judgment towards the conclusions then difficulty in forecasting see financial statements are a record of past events and historical events in the uh, fast changing and developing modern business the analysis of past information may not be 
much use in future forecasting so it becomes very difficult to forecast your future demand your policies adopted by the firm the position of competition etc lack of qualitative analysis See, I told you that uh, earlier that only the monetary terms are being taken into the financial statements. The qualitative aspects are not been taken into consideration. So, eight is limited use of single years analysis of financial statement. So the results obtained from uh, financial analysis assume significance only when compared with the figures of previous year, right? So use of single, limited use of single years analysis. It is very important to, you know, analyze two years data with each other that uh, have we increased our sales from the previous year, have we increased the profits from the previous year. So it becomes quite difficult if we have only single year data analysis, analysis we, we have to do. So all these are the limitations for financial analysis. I hope you like our video. Please download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.